Tourists who visit Harrisburg often like to spend a few days admiring the beauty of the Shawnee National Forest. That forest extends all the way across Illinois, and on the other end, near Carbondale, is the Giant City State Lodge. Giant City State Park was founded, purchased uh, uh, in 1927. The state of Illinois bought land. Of course, the park, the, some of what are now trails, uh, the rock formation thing, of course, they were in existence. Uh, but that's when a park was formed. The park now is over 4,000 acres, which makes it one of the largest ones in Illinois. Of course, we're a little biased and we think it's Illinois' most scenic park. The lodge, however, was started uh, in 1933, and that was through the Civilian Conservation Corps that was enacted uh, with Franklin Roosevelt's uh, alphabet soup of programs, put young men to work, and in fact, I think the CCC all in total probably put more than three million men to work. Uh, from 33 to about 42, by the time World War II started, is when it was disbanded. The lodge was somewhat patterned after other lodges that were already existing and being built in the country, uh, resembling the great lodges that are out west, so to speak. As large a building as this is, as massive as it may seem, it's really not that large compared to many others. Certainly some of the ones out west, you know, where there's balcony after balcony. Even Illinois, which has Pierre Marquette, Starved Rock, are much larger. One of the things I think is unique to Giant City, it's more comfortable because it's not so tall, it's not so massive that you feel small or that it appears to be dark or that it appears to be uh, um, oh, dusty for lack of a probably a nicer word. But uh, Giant City seems bright, it seems comfortable. And though it is large, um, it's not as massive as some lodges. And uh, sometimes people come in and ask what this was built for. It was built for just what it is today, just for the citizens, people to enjoy. Uh, of course, it was built well. This uh, particular room, the great room, was finished in 37. The entire project was finished in 39. Uh, they spent a couple of years building what are now the restrooms, uh, the dining room, kitchens, cabins. And originally there were 12 cabins. Uh, but now there are 34. The original 12 have been taken down and totally replaced with some that resemble them. Some of the things that the park will offer that it's known for best is uh, its namesake, which is the Giant City Nature Trail. This particular trail is a mile-long trail that's within the park, it's real popular, and when you walk that trail, um, you go through rock formations that are very tall, very smooth, and they have bends to them, and it appears like you're going through city streets and alleys. And so that namesake, Giant City, uh, comes from that trail alone, and actually that was named that before the park was ever an actual state park. Devil stand tables and area where they repel and climb. It's a balanced rock. It's a, it's a beautiful trail as well. Uh, the park's known for a lot of picnicking, a lot of shelters, a uh, red cedar backpack trail. Uh, there's horseback riding in the park, which is a, a really nice feature, a way to see the park for a novice rider. But even more than that, the park also has 15 or so miles of horse trails for uh, horsemen to bring in their own horses. And, and they have their own campground. So if you have, uh, if you're an equestrian person, ride however, you want to bring your trailer in, camp for a weekend or a night or two, ride the trail. So that's a pretty popular feature too. This park's also interesting that it doesn't just have a way in and a way out. It's got several. It's uh, got county roads that go through it. So it's not really a gated park. The hours are pretty much from uh, daylight to 10 p.m. We enjoy a nice reputation of having good food. We're known for the all-you-can-eat fried chicken dinner. Um, but uh, it's the kind of place that I think that, you know, though it's in the, the backyard of a lot of people, obviously a lot of people are aware of that and it's a special occasion kind of place. Some people might be hiking a trail and, and come on in just because they're here. Other people come after a church or a special occasion or an anniversary. And it's a, it's a place that really when you, when, when you look around and, and you realize all the communities that don't have something like this in their backyard, Southern Illinois as a, as a whole, uh, Carbondale, Union County specifically, um, it's, it's, we're very lucky that it's here. But you can really tell when somebody new comes in and they start asking a few questions or they just like say look around and appreciate the craftsmanship and the workmanship. And uh, sometimes I'll joke that this particular part of the building will probably be standing a long time. Some of the new may have its issues, but the old, those uh, original CCC boys, they built it with pride. They did what our country is known for. They did it the right way. And uh, we still are benefiting and enjoying it today.
In 1937, a year after the lodge was built, a dining room was added. The menu at that time had a T-bone steak for 85 cents and a whole lobster for $1.75. Customers complained that the prices were too high. To book a room at Giant City, call 618-457-4921 or log on to GiantCityLodge.com.